Hi, this is Casey. I was going to give you a, a, a month update and it was actually supposed to be last week, but I got, I got tied up. Uh, but I was going to do a month review after I've been having uh, these uh, grow watts behind me and the amper time batteries here and the cheapy grid ties. I was just going to give you a one month review on and how things are going. And as you can see, the grow watts are shut off. My my have my shop and my garage is back on the grid, and that I, I, I'll explain a little bit of that. Um, and also what I learned. What did I learn? I learned I don't have enough solar panels for what I want to do. And let me explain that. What I have, if you haven't been following me since the beginning, is I have uh, I bought ten. 240 watt uh, panels from uh, Santan Solar and then I have two uh, panels that I had bought off two two 200 watt panels that I bought off of Amazon and that that's what I have I have four uh, panels of the, the, the Santan Solar ones I have two two sets of four so one goes to one fa uh, phase on the grid tie the other one goes to the other phase on the other grid tie and so that way when the air kicks in they both fire up and they they help help back feed with the two panels or four panels i'm sorry and so that's eight of the panels the two amazon panels that goes to the other grid tie that just does all the idle stuff in the house it just covers up anything that's just plugged in, even though it's not turned on, it just uses power just because it's plugged in. Yeah, it, that does that. And then I had the two uh, le other 240 watt panels to the grow watts over here, but, you know, charging up the batteries. And as long as every every day is sunny, it, it, it works, it, it, it works. But not every day is sunny. And those two panels with uh, both of these grow watts powered on so I get two uh, split phase the 240 volt they, they each take about 50 watts uh, of power so that's that's a total combined that's a hundred watts of power and it roughly because they also if I you figure the other stuff in my shop you know some some security lights and some motion sensors and everything which is you know maybe another 50 watts of power these batteries here would supply that load with nothing else for about 24 hours straight and that's without without solar if I unplug the solar these batteries would run that for about 24 hours well what what we had happened on a day actually it was two days but I caught it on one day uh, on that one time we had a very very cloudy day so we weren't getting a lot of solar energy on that day and the next day was a kind of one of those 50 50 days now where you have cloud sun cloud sun cloud sun well that happened i really wasn't paying attention to anything and i knew there was power in the, the shop at night because I, I seen the security lights on you know the the uh they come on at dusk dusk to dawn lights and i seen those on but when i got up that next morning uh, the, the grow watts had shut down due to low voltage. I have them shut down at I think it's like 22 volts. It's a, it's a little bit above what the manufacturer of the amper time batteries recommend. But I thought, well, better safe than sorry. And it had shut down on you know low voltage. Okay, and I I, I kind of understood that. It's like oh, all right. And I, I, I wasn't monitoring it. And yes, I know there's all these th gizmos that you can get with Bluetooth and everything that'll warn you. But if it would have warned me at three o'clock in the, in the morning that it was gonna shut down, or if I noticed it at six o'clock in the morning, it really didn't matter to me because it wasn't doing anything. It, it's not like I needed that power. I didn't have anything critical in the, in the, in the shop. So, I started thinking about it. So I, what I did is I had to throw all my solar panels at, at the, both grow watts and get, get the battery charged up to a full charge. You know, and, then, and then if I do that, it, it don't help help the grid ties at all because everything's going into the, the grow watts to charge the battery and plus power the grow watts. Well, 
it has been really really hot here in texas i mean we we have record heat I mean, this past month i think we had two days that went under 100 degrees you know for for the high of the day and that it was like 98 97 98 degrees i can't tell you the last time we've seen low 90s over here it's been probably since may but point being is i need that power to run help help with the air conditioners i think at the right now I, i'm getting more on my return not running the grow watts for for no reason you know the little bit of power my shop takes if i'm not out here using it doesn't compare what the air conditioners taken so what i did is i put both of those solar panels over to the the grid ties to get more power out of those i think i am getting a bigger return doing that way so it, it, it's just extra power go, going to, to help the, the grid you know over here and i i i just think that's a little bit more cost effective for me and plus i had a couple of really busy days here in the shop where I was using it and I would have went back to the grid anyways, just because I, I don't want to be that hard on these grow watts with the saws start and stop and start and stop. And so that, that's why I'm back on the, on, the, on, the, on the grid here in the shop and I shut these down. So I have these charged up to like 90%. And so they're, they're ready, they're good for, all I gotta do is power these back on and I'm good to go for backup power. And I figure in another, you know, if, if this heat keeps up, month, two, whatever, uh, you know, I'll, I'll recharge these. I'll hook, you know, turn them back on, let it, let everything charge back up. So how was everything working it, 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 before I did that? I, it was working fantastic. I, these grow watts, I mean, I was really impressed. I was out here, you know, I could power up. My, my dust collector I could power you know have the dust collector run and power up my table saw shut the table saw off go over by the you know miter saw cut cut some boards over there fire up the table saw back and the dust collectors running and yeah go to the drill press you know do, do whatever I could do whatever I wanted just like I was on the grid the, the only thing that I, I wasn't not doing is I was not running the air compressor over here this beast that's the only thing I didn't try, but otherwise I could work in my shop. I I couldn't tell you if I was on the grid or not. I wasn't. It, it was that that good. I mean, it wasn't like the lights were dimming or anything like that. So these grow watts, in combination with these amper time batteries, did really good job. So overall, very impressed with them. The cheapy grid ties, they're doing what they're supposed to do. You know they're not the most efficient things in the world but they're doing what they're supposed to do you know so far it's only been a month um now that that one actually has uh eight six i'm sorry i, I stand corrected that one actually has six 240 watt panels on it so it, it's going in at about 30 amps uh dc and it's putting out about six about, roughly about six amps at 120 volt yeah let me tell you it gets hot it gets hot that fan pretty much is running constantly and it's hot you know you you can grab onto it i i wouldn't want to hold on to it for any kind of length of time you know but i mean it's not you're not going to burn yourself or anything like that but it does get hot and that that's putting out about 600 watts at at, a, at 100 uh yeah a little over that I, I take that back because it's 120 so I'm about six, six and so yeah it's about pretty close to 700 and that's on one of those 1300 watt uh grid time uh inverters i have that's a, supposed to be a 1300 watt one yeah it may go up to i don't i don't think it would last very long if 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 somebody did that and how many more solar panels do you think i i, I, I need uh i i would like to get another 10 from santan solar uh I, I i probably would have ordered them already i have a little we, well we, my wife and i have a little mini vacation coming up so i don't i don't want that to interfere with any kind of delivery dates or anything like that because they do come on, on a, a truck with a lift gate on it so we have to be here for it. one of us would have to be here for it so i think after we get back from that i'm, I'm probably going to order another 10. i would like to at least add another two panels for six total on both those grid ties 
and I would at least a minimum of two more panels on to the the grow watt so there would be a total of four panels I think four panels would be the minimum for these grow watts to keep keep everything charged and happy I I would probably go with even six on that so I would have six six on each one of those and then six on this and that would leave me two panels left over I think which I wouldn't mind because I yeah, I wouldn't mind having one on one or two on hand just in case we I you know one of the other panels went out burned out cracked uh, or whatever this way I just have a replacement or if I find something else I could do with it which I'm, I'm sure I can so that's it for now I will definitely keep you posted as far as when I do order those panels it or, you know when how long it takes them to get here that like I did last time un unpack them in that with you and just keep you posted on everything uh, and until next time thank you for watching bye